Hello again and welcome to another Mordian Glory Bolt Action Battle Report and today we are back in Italy in 1944. In today's scenario the British 8th Army will be pushing into northern Italy in 1944 taking on the remnants of the fanatical Italian black shirts. Before we get into today's army, I'd just like to point out that this is the first battle report that we're filming on the new camera. So this is Ultra HD, supposedly. So let us know what you think down in the comment section below. And also, this is the first time that I'm actually doing a bolt action battle report in the Mordian Glory Battle Bunker. Normally I go up to Commando James's with his very nice board, but he has been giving me some tips and tricks and I've put together this board on my own. So let me know what you think uh, down in the comment section below. So today Simon is joining us back in the battle bunker once more, except for instead of bringing his salty Necrons or Grey Knights, instead he has decided to bring his Italian Black Shirt Army. So Simon, why don't you take us through what you've brought today? Okay, so uh, as I've still yet to beat on one of these battle reports, I've decided to bring possibly the most overpowered thing I could find and failed miserably, so I brought the Italians. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, we're running a, uh, an Italian Socialist Republic detachment, so this is the special rules for post-1943 Italian, uh, and I'm running it all as black shirts. So we've nice. got a, an 11-man section with an NCO with uh, a submachine gun, uh, and I paid the extra points to make them all fanatical, and they're going to be riding around in a Fiat truck. Uh, Very nice. Uh, so probably expecting that to break down. Uh, then we've got three 10-man black shirt uh, sections. Now, the, uh, the the special rules for the black shirts uh, are quite cool. So every time they get shot at, or the first time they get shot or uh, assaulted in combat, you roll the dice. On a one or a two, they become shirkers. <laughs> On a three or four, they do nothing. They stay as normal troops. And as a five or a six, they become fanatical. That's so, very cool. So uh, this army could melt away and do nothing, or it could just become a bunch of suicidal yeah, so, so either you've got the people that really do believe have been there since the early days of the march on Rome, or you've got all the chances that signed up for the spiffy uniforms and didn't think it was going to go quite as badly as it did. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that sums it up. <laughs> uh, now, we've also got, um, uh, we've got a, a lieutenant there with, oh, yeah. uh, with his little um, orderly. He's got his fares as well, very nice. Yeah, we've got to rock the, uh, rock the fares. Uh, we're also running an M14 tank, which is a, a medium tank, believe it or not, but really it's more of a light tank, uh, and that's got the the extra machine gun on the top. Nice. That is one. This is one of my favourite units for Italians. It's probably the one that would make me collect the army. I don't know what it is about Italian tanks. They're, they're like Japanese tanks. They're awful, but they just look great. Yeah, they, they don't do very well against uh, T34s. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, and also, Blinder 41 armoured car. So that's a pretty cool little uh, machine gun carrier. Nice. Uh, we've got a Fear the Mighty uh, anti-tank rifle. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, and then we've got a medium howitzer with a spotter and a medium mortar with a spotter. Um, Very nice. Yeah, I, did, I did a lot of research on, on this unit uh, based on the uh, Leonessa Armour Group. Very uh, cool. Spent so much time Googling Italian fascists, I now get a lot of uh, adverts for the Tory party. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Brilliant. that's my listen. The, the Italian special rule is so if uh, if I go three dice ahead in the uh, number of back units lost, uh, I gain plus two on my leadership. If yep. I go three behind, I lose two. So I could have a bunch of eleven leadership fanatics or a bunch of seven leadership shirkers. So could go either way. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, don't often see the Italians. It's a bit of a rare sight. A lot of people end up just doing sort of German sort of battle reports with the uh, Axis, but it's great to actually have a different faction on the channel. And uh, yeah, this is just this is honestly one of the favorite armies that um, we've got in our, in our sort of bot action group at the moment. And so it actually won um, Coolest Army at our last bot action event. So uh, Goes to show, if you don't need to necessarily collect the most overpowered thing. It's all in by action. It's all about collecting the coolest thing. So thank you for that, Simon. Absolutely epic army. And let's see what they're taking on today. And this is the force that I'm going to be running today. It is the 8th Army. And this is actually the army that I painted up during the 24-hour live stream. So if some of these models look a bit quirky, it's probably because I was delirious without sleep at that point. So going through, we've got three 10-man rifleman sections each one of these has got no upgrades. Everyone's got 10 rifles. And then we've also got a little five-man squad of veterans with two SMGs, the rifleman being regular. We've then got the free artillery observer there. 
We've got my lieutenant there. He's got a pistol. His mate's got an SMG. We've got a boys anti-tank rifle team. Medium mortar with a spotter. Medium machine gun team. Good old Vickers. Then we've got the 25 pounder. So this is a me uh, this is a light howitzer, but it can choose to fire as a light anti-tank gun. It's a really, really good unit, and I like it. It's only five points more than a regular light howitzer, but you get those two profiles. Now, often that light anti-tank gun isn't really a big deal, but against Italian armor, I suspect it will be more than enough. <laughs> a cheese grater will be more than enough. <laughs> We've got two Bren cars with the extra Bren, and then we've got a Sherman 5. So this is sort of my late war 8th army. It's got the Sherman and stuff in there. And yeah, I think it should be all right. So we'll see what they look like when we've deployed them on the battlefield. Today's mission is scenario 10 in the Big Bolt Action Rulebook, and it is Hold Until Relieved. We decided to do an attack and defender mission because the Italians get a lot of bonuses when they are the defender. And so rather than rolling for it, we just said, you know what? The Italians can be the defender and the Brits will be the attacker. Now, the sort of flavor text for this mission is that uh, the Italians have pushed forward and then they've actually d dug in to try and ready for any counterattacks, which is actually very cool because that was the way the Italians actually fought on the offensive. Even when they won the offensive, they were actually on the defensive. So that's why we thought that was a pretty good one for this for today's mission. Now, in terms of setup, it's a bit of a weird one, but essentially uh, we have to have one objective and we pick something on the board that we think is pretty interesting. And today we've gone for the river crossing and then the defender, which is the Italian in this case, can deploy two units within six inches of the objective. Uh, and then when the attacker, which will be me, the Brits, uh, deploys, they get to actually deploy everything on the board in one go. And the only rule is I have to be 18 inches away from from the uh, initial sort of defending Italian units. That's kind of interesting. Like I've almost got like the whole board to deploy on. Now the Italian, the rest of the Italian forces are going to come on in either a first wave or in uh, reserves. And that is basically, so that's the mission. Now let's take a look at the board and deployment and everything. So what we've got here is the initial sort of Brit forces. We've got our 25 pounder being screened by the anti-tank rifle in case Simon tries to send any of his armor up this way. We've got a strong infantry presence in the center. We've got our sections, Vickers machine gun covering the initial Italian defenses. And then we've got my artillery observer next to an empty Bren carrier. We've got another infantry squad making their way up the side of the river. And then we have got my remaining forces, which is the mortar, the Bren carrier with the veterans, and then the Sherman tank there, which is behind this dense bit of terrain here. Now, looking over at the Italians, we've got their initial defences. Now, for those that don't know, the Italians get to start when in an attack and defender situation. If they are the defender, they get to actually deploy D3 barricades. And so we've got these little dry stone walls that we're using to represent the Italian barricades today. And Simon actually got the maximum. He got all three. So he's put one there for his first unit of defending infantry. And he's put another one here defending this side. So he's defending both sides of the river. Very, very good, Simon. Tactical, all good, all good. Italian rock strip. Italians rock drift and then his last one is here and uh, so he can he can drive on from reserve and take advantage of that straight he's just going to probably go hold down with some tanks there or something see what he does and so that is the full that is the full deployment guys so pretty interesting bit different to the usual bot action scenario uh, there's a lot of cover on this board now we're saying that nearly all of the cover on this board is light cover with just a few little bits of heavy scattered here and there and the reason for, which is basically the italian bits and the reason for that is if you have too much heavy cover on a board guys it just means that people don't have to go down they don't have to think they can just sort of march across the board with impunity so a lot of this any sort of these walls and stuff what we're saying is they're pretty badly run down so they're just going to count as light cover the bits that are dense cover though that you can't see through is going to be this this hill here this hill here this one here and this one here so there we go that is the mission that is deployment now let's get on to the game so as i am recording today simon is going to be bagman now the british dice are gray and there's a couple of white ones in there because i've got 13 dice today and then simon will be using red dice british airborne dice apparently yeah, British airborne <laughs> dice, yeah. so there we go so simon do you want to pull the first dice it is a gray one so that means that the uh i was gonna say the germans because i'm always germans with my gray dice that means that the british eighth army will have to go first so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go for fire order with the 25 pounder. I'm going to draw a line of sight using my spotter up here, the guy mopping his brow. And he is going to try and do an initial bombardment 
down onto these Italians here. Now, Simon has to work out whether his blokes are shirkers or not. They do it when they're shot at. Not even if they're taking a casualty, just what they're shot at. So let's see what happens with these guys. Oh, <laughs> no. The first unit, they could have been fanatics, and now they're shirkers. Awful. It's going to keep going this way, man. All right, so uh, I'm doing an indirect fire shot. So do I hit him on a six? No, I don't. So at least I... Uh, I didn't hurt you, but I have down downrated you. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's insane. All right, so we'll pull the next dice in a moment. Here comes the next dice, and it is another British Eighth Army one. All right, I think we're going to go for a similar sort of thing with the mortars. In fact, the mortar is going to try and range in onto the other squad of Italians there. So Simon, how how brave, Avanti Savoia? How brave are your men? Ooh. Hey, Fanatic, so El Duce giveth and El Duce taketh away. <laughs> it's swingy. It's swingy. So do I, um, this is my order dice, so we'll put that one side. This is my to shoot dice. So do I hit you on a six plus indirect fire mortar shot? Hey! Da -na 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 -na. I always do this to Simon. I, that's why I take a lot of indirect fire. You should see him. He's very salty right now. <laughs> so we've got a hit dice there. We'll see how many we get under the template. So the first explosion missed. So we've put a little white tuft of smoke there. Just a bit of immersion. And then the second second one did hit so we've got the big fiery explosion there now simon has elected not to go down uh we did talk about it but he thought he's gonna end up in like a down trap where if he's not pulling the first dice next turn he's gonna be stuck going down trying to avoid the casualties um so he's just gonna try and wear it now it's a two-inch template so i can get about three guys so uh, i'll be killing on twos with the medium mortar so i get three kills and then one of those is a six so do i get to pick Nope. And then how many pins do I do? Two. So three kills and two pins. Not bad from that medium mortar. Not bad at all. So that's what it looks like once the explosion has gone in. Simon killed the three guys holding that side of the objective. We've got two pin markers on them. Just in case anyone's wondering what this dice means. And this dice means we put little dices next to each unit to show what the dial-in rate is. So this, uh, the light, uh, how it's a miss, so it's only dialing in on a five next turn. But because the medium mortar hit, it will be dialing in on a two next turn. So this helps us keep track of that in case anyone's wondering. Okay, here comes the next dice. Will Simon finally get one of them? No, it's me. It's like playing 40k, this, isn't it, Simon? <laughs> All right, so I think we'll just go for a bit of dacker on the old Vickers. So the Vickers is going for a fire order. Give him the old Vickers, lads. And we're going to be shooting into the Shirker unit here. Now, that will be long range and it will be heavy cover so I will need sixes to hit. So we've got five shots for being a medium machine gun. I miss being German and not having six <laughs> shots. Let's see what we get. Uh, absolutely nothing, nothing, not even a pin. Okay, so the next dice is gonna be, will it finally be an Italian one? It's not an Italian one. Are there any red ones in there, Simon? Probably not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let me have a little think about what I wanna do. So I'm just gonna put my anti-tank rifle team on ambush. So next dice, Simon, can it be a red one finally? It is! Huzzah! Finally! So Simon is going to bring one of his first wave units in. And in case anyone's wondering, he put his two artillery pieces and his two vehicles into his first wave. Because it's half a unit rounding down. So the Italian tank, the finest riveted armour that the Roman Empire can produce has moved on here. And it is triggering my ambush. So I get a chance to try and uh, do something to it before it fires. Now it will be long range and I have given Simon some light cover because he's behind the edge of that hill. So it's going to be a five to hit with the boys under tank rifle. It is a hit. It is a hit. Now the thing is, is it's only going to be uh, plus one penetration because of um the uh, being over half range with the anti-tank rifle uh but you are technically armor eight isn't that correct uh, it's riveted just riveted armor so we'll just check the stats on this tank in a moment so we've checked the rules riveted armor only matters for the side and rear and this tank is an armor eight all round now what that means is that with my plus one to penetrate over half range i can't actually penetrate the armor of this thing with my anti-tank rifle but I can do a pin to it unless Simon rolls a four plus. He does not. So that Italian tank will be now uh, having a pin on it. So we've checked the rules. Riveted armor only matters for the side and rear. And this tank is an armor eight all round. Now, what that means is that with my plus one to penetrate over half range, I can't actually penetrate the armor of this thing with my anti-tank rifle. But I can do a pin to it unless Simon rolls a four plus. 
he does not. So that Italian tank will be now uh, having a pin on it. Now this crazy Italian spaghetti machine will be able to fire 20 shots. 20? I thought you said Italian tanks were rubbish, Simon. Yeah, try to kill a tank with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the first wave of fire coming in. And it's going to be sixes followed by sixes, guys, because he's got a pin on him. It's long range. It's light cover. And uh, he's moved, and I'm a small team. So th these are the possibles from the first wave. So nothing from the first wave. He's going to try again. Okay, come on. Come on, Simon. Come on. Everyone everyone, start chanting, you know, Italian football anthems. I could do it with the reroll once. You could do it with some foot. <laughs> yeah, you chapter master in here. Oh, not quite. Classic Italians. A lot of noise going along. Not a lot of results <laughs> happening. All right. So that is the end of the Italian uh, sort of uh, first dice. Let's see what the next dice is. So the next dice is another Italian one. Let's see what Simon decides to do. So the Italian armoured car has come on the pizza machine and it is going to be firing its coaxial medium machine gun into the anti-tank rifle team. Again, it's going to need sixes followed by sixes. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. come on, Luigi. Come on. Yes, he's got a hit. He's only gone and bloody done it. All right. Now, let's see if he can get a kill on a four plus. Ooh, oh, he hasn't quite done it, but he has put a pin on me. So we're, we're just trading pins at this point. Here we go. It is the next dice. Which one is it? It is going to be a British 8th Army one. So I figured that if the Italians are going to bring on their armor, I might as well do something with my armor. And it's kind of weird, the Sherman being like actually threatening <laughs> not normally Shermans are normally not that great in but actually it's kind of like when you're playing in the Pacific theater you know like they're actually the you know, the Bane Blades of Burma and all that kind of stuff so anyway let's go for an advanced roll now my Sherman tank is because it's a tracked vehicle and it's a medium uh, vehicle it's just going to drive straight through this forest that beautiful sun bleached arm which is going to drive straight through and it is going to fire its turret at the Italian units here. Now I'm going to go for the high explosive um, uh, shot first. So I'll need a six hit because I will have moved. It won't be long range, but it will be hard cover. So I need a six to hit. Nope, that's a three. And then we've got a medium machine gun in the front. So same again. Uh, Simon, have you got a tape measure handy there? Could you just check for me if this is within 18 inches? Yes. Easy. It is. Excellent. Okay, so this will also be sixes. I've got a hit, Captain. I've got a kill, Captain. One hit, one kill. So we've just plinked off another little Italian unit from there. And we've added another pin as well. Okay, so what is the next dice going to be? It's another 8th Army one. All right. So I think we'll go for... Um, probably just go for a little... Hmm. I have a little think. So we just went for a cheeky run order with this Bren. It started off over here. It's done a couple of pivots and it has ended here. So the next dice is another 8th Army one, and I'll probably do a little bit of shooting with my other Bren carrier. So I've just popped my officer inside the Bren carrier for now. Uh, so what we're going to do, guys, is we've sort of got those initial opening maneuvers. All of the interesting stuff has kind of been done for the first turn. So what we're going to do is we'll pull the rest of the dice off camera and do a little bit of a summary, and, unless anything really interesting comes up, in which case we'll capture it as it happens. So to summarise what happened for the rest of the turn, the absolutely fantastic Fanatics, uh, not only did they pass their order, they passed it on a double one. These guys definitely marched on Rome pre-war. You know, These are the hard black shirts. And not only did they do that, they then proceeded with some pretty difficult dice rolls to not only kill one of these 8th Army blokes, but then when they went to do their order... They failed and went down. They're like, Jesus Christ, it's the black shirt. It's not doing, not having a go at them, Sarge. Moving along the line here a little bit, the Bren carrier then fired and it was able to kill one of the shirkers. So not only are they shirkers that failed their order, but now they've got a pin. So they're really not having a good time. And then we also went for a bit of a bit of a bold maneuver, but you know, Billy Big Bollocks over here decided to charge forward with two of my squads, hoping that I'm going to get a couple of early dice. Because if I don't, I reckon a car's going to come around the corner and start machine gunning me. But we'll see what happens. In terms of the remaining Italian units, now this was the first wave of the Italians. The rest of the units will be in reserve. So that's five units that weren't able to come in. But Simon was able to bring in his other first wave unit, which is his medium howitzer, and he also 
brought in his mortar. Now, we did actually forget that Simon was meant to deploy his spotters as well, but we thought, you know, we'll just let him just do that now. I think we, as far as we can tell, they still get to four deploys normal. So what we did is we just, Simon put his mortar spotter in this little forest here, and then he went a little bit cheeky with this one, but I like it. He put his medium artillery spotter over here, so now he can start calling in some counter battery fire. But that's turn one. Let's see what happens in turn two. So Simon is going to be back, man. What is the first dice going to be? Will it be for El Duce? It is for El Duce. So there we go. Let's see what Simon decides to do. So Simon is not messing around. Straight away, he's going to go for fire order on the medium howitzer. And he's putting it into my light howitzer. So he needs a six to hit. It's an indirect fire shot. No, it is a four, but we'll just take that dice and we'll put it on a five. So next turn, he'll be dialing in, hitting on a five, unless I move. It's the next dice, Simon. It is going to be a eighth army one. So I need to decide what I'm going to do now. Fairly simple. Anti-tank rifle going back on uh, ambush, but I do have to do an order test for that. So give me one second. Uh, so let's see if we get it off. We do. So we lose the pin. And we've got that anti-tank rifle on ambush. The next dice is going to be another 8th Army one. So there we go. I keep wanting to say the Germans because I'm so used to these grey dice being the German ones. So I think we're going to have a little think and we'll be back in a moment. So we're going to go for an advance with the Sherman. We're going to keep pushing forward for that bridge. And we're going to see if we can move in advance and shoot up these fanatics a bit more. So it's going to move forward 9 inches, which is going to put itself about there. And then it's going to unleash onto these guys. Now, do you want to go down, Simon, or are you just going to wear it? It will be sixes to hit because of the hard cover. How many shots have you got? I have one HE shot. You're quite bunched up there, so I'll get three or four guys if I get the six. And then I'll have five medium machine gun shots. Ooh, interesting. Do you want to have a little think? Yes. It's going to have a little think, gentlemen. And then we've got the medium machine gun. Nothing, not even a possible. So that is the tank move, but we have for Simon to go down with one of his squads. So here comes the next dice. It's another one. Oh, I'm getting a rush every turn so far. Okay, let's have a little think what we're going to do with this. We're going to go for a fire order with the Bren carrier again. We're just looking to get as many pins as possible on this Shirka unit. So we are going to need six to hit unless Simon wants to go down. But if he goes, he doesn't want to go down. No, he does not want to go down. So let's see if we get any sixes. Get the one. That's what we were looking for. Can we kill one of them? No, but the pin is what we were looking for. So here comes the next dice. It is one for the Italians. Do you know what you're doing? Simon has stuffed his face with chocolate. Yes. So he is unable to now say anything. I'm going to say he's going to go down with his tank because he can't defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's not really. He's going to do something important. I'm going to advance the tank. He's going to advance the tank. Okay, which one's going first? Who's going to lead the mighty lead, Italian lead, spaghetti lead charge. charge? Yes, the charge of the spaghetti brigade. I think I am going to... That's an interesting one. Mm. Right, there we go. I'm going to advance the... Uh... Actually, no. I'm going to run. He's running? Yes. Gadzooks. All right, now I'm going to need a dice to see if I uh, can ambush you. Now I'm going to wait to see where you end up, and then I'm going to choose at what point I'm going to ambush you. Oh, he's only got, he's, only, he's going aggressive. Right, well, I'm going to ambush you when you when you finish there then. All right. So that uh, ambush order is going to change to a fire. I'm going to hit you just on a three. Ah, one minute, he's got a pin to do. All of this may have been in our imagination. Let's see if he passes his order check. He does. Okay, so now we, we, we fast forward back into the present day. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting on a three. It's a hit. Now, I will actually penetrate your armor on a... Well, no, I'll glance your armor on a six. No, so close. Ah! So now he just gets another pin on him. Right, next dice. Here we go. It's another one of mine. All right. Hmm. I think we're going to go for an advanced order on the one of the infantry squads in the center. So the left-hand infantry squad has gone for an advanced move. There's 10 rifles in there. And I should have said that the trait I chose for my British is rapid fire, which means that not only do I get 10 shots, I get an additional three shots. So I get 13, 30 seconds, a free LMG. Good old bolt actions, that's all you need. Infantryman and his rifle. So it's going to be moved and hard cover, but I suspect that I will actually be within half range there. So it's going to be sixes. So let's see how many sixes we get. We've got four sixes there. 
That's pretty good. So that's another pin at least. I am going to blow all of these shirkers up. The first opportunity I get. <laughs> now, killing on fours. It is two kills, but do I get to pick who's going to meet the El Duce in the sky? No, I don't. Is he dead at this point? No, 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 no. The, uh, the actual, the, the Leonessa uh, group were one of the last groups to, 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 to deal with him before he got captured. Ah, yeah. right. So he's still, got, he's still around at this point. So yeah, he's got all the history. He's got all the history. You're definitely on a watch list after that Wikipedia rabbit hole you went down. Yeah, to become an MP. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of the uh, of their activation. Let's see what the next dice is. All right, what is the next dice? It is the Italians. What are they going to do? Do you know exactly what you're going to do? Do you want to roll straight into it? Or do you want a bit to think? I'm going to think. He's going to think. The Italian medium mortar is going to go for a fire order using their spotter, and they're going to go straight into the chaps that advanced into what I suspect is the graveyard behind the church. Will they be adding to it? Let's take a look. Did you six to hit? Oh, it's a big old one, a Rooney. That's a miss. That is a miss. We'll get a, we'll get a bit of smoke and fling it to one side of the board to represent how far off that was. So this is the next dice. Turn two, next dice. What it's going to be? Okay, it's going to be the Italians. Do you know what you're doing, or do you need to ponder? I'm going to bandsai my uh... nice. The pizza car coming up. Yes, That's but it. an advance. Let's go for advance. Okay, let's go to advance. He's going straight forward. I like it. He's, he's van so mightily the tree has fallen over. <laughs> Shoot into them. Shooting into them. So it will be a move. It will be a light cover. It will be a small team. But are you within half range? I am. So it's just going to be sixes. Do you have your dice? I'm about to get them. Okay. Tell you what, you just roll them there, buddy, and then we'll see what they get. So sixes to hit. This is the million. Uh, this is, oh, it's only got five shots, this one, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll take two. We'll take Try two there. Again. Try that again. Look. Here we go. Near sixes. You got the hit though, still. Okay. Do you get the kill on a four? We're hitting on fives. You do get the kill. Now, if you roll that again, you're going to wipe the team out if you get another six. Oh. No. Now, you are going to kill one of them. And then, because they are a small team, they will need to take a leadership check at minus one because they've got a pin. But they stick around just. Whoo. They've just stuck around. Thank God for being regular. Okay, but that <laughs> that team is now going to be a permanent minus one day because he's lost his loader. Okay, so the next dice is going to be another Italian one. So Simon has decided that he's going to try and advance with the shirk because he can't stay there. They're going to keep getting shot at and bombarded. So let's see if they can do something. Not quite, sadly. Oh. Just, uh, just slightly too high on that roll. So they are going to end up going down. Okay, so we're going to do this as the next dice on camera. Then we'll probably do the rest off camera. So it's going to be another Italian one. I think it's time for some reserves, I believe. I think it is, yes. So then okay. And I'm going to bring in an infantry squad. He's going to bring in an infantry squad. Okay. No. Your, it's leadership minus one for reserves. So you have leadership nine. So very close. But unfortunately, they're too busy snacking on their spag bowl. They're not coming in just yet. So we'll see uh, We'll see what happens. We'll see what we'll do. We'll wrap up the rest of the turn off camera. We'll do a little bit of a summary. So for the rest of the turn, my veteran squad moved forward in their Bren first, which did a little bit of light firing into the Fanatics over here, but did, don't think really achieved anything. But then the veterans themselves jumped out and actually did quite well and were able to kill one and put a pin down as well. So that's pretty good. We also managed to do some advancing across the line with this squad here. They did pass their order, so they've lost their pin. And then we did a big push into the centre. Uh, and we were doing quite well, doing some kills and pins and whatnot against these shirkers. But then Simon countered with his fanatics. These are the actual proper fanatics, ones that know what they are doing. And so the last thing to mention is I moved my 25 pounder. Uh, so it wasn't able to shoot this turn, but it has lost the ability for the um, medium mortar to dial in. And Simon can't see it, so we can't try and dial in in future turns either. So that is the turn. Uh, the British continuing to push forward, trying to clear out the Italian positions. But we are aiming for the objective, which is this bridge. So we're going to go into turn three now. So turn three, Simon continuing to be bagman. Who's going to go, the spaghetti or the Brits? And it is the Brits going first. So 
I'm just going to go straight up. We're not messing around here. I'm going to go straight for my mortar that needs to, to go for a uh, attempt to dial in on those shirkers. So, oh, my artillery bombardment comes in as well. Oh, yeah. Does it? So does my artillery bombardment come in? Should have said that's uh, this guy who did that there. That was the end of last turn. So on a four plus it comes in. Nope, it is delayed. I think it actually moves uh, 12 inches in your direction. So while Simon, you're figuring out where you want to move that, I'm going to... Um, Do I not roll a dash? No, you just get to move it. On a one, you just get to move it 12 inches. On a two, it's just delayed. And then on, you can move it, yeah. And move it off the board. Yeah, you can. And then on a, um, and then on like a, a four plus, it comes in. But this is my mortar round going into your shirkers. Does it go off on a five? It does not. So the shit have not had a couple of bombardments there. Neither one has gone off. So we'll be back with the next. So here we go. Next dice is for the Italians. So do you know what you're doing, Simon? I certainly do. Okay, he's going straight in. He's going straight for it. What are you doing first? I need to do an order test. Is this on the tank? It is certainly on He's the going tank. on the tank. Okay. He has failed the order test. Now, what that means is you reverse. So you reverse, then go down. So you go straight back nine inches. So the Italian armored thrust, the pizza brigade, has been forced back. Uh, but it, it's uh, it's not been damaged. It's just the Italians are like, Mamma mia, there's an anti-tank rifle in there. <laughs> so we'll see what the next dies. Simon was just saying that that's actually a really big blow because he wanted to be able to unleash his 20 machine gun shots into my infantry and now it's just failed. That's really annoying. So now let's see what the next dice is. Can he get another one? Can he do something with those fanatics maybe? It is going to be my dice next. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is I need to try and stop his fanatical push. So I'm going to go for a little counter of my own. And I think what I'm going to do is go for an advance order on this infantry, advance them around here, and then shoot them into those veterans. So we'll see uh, where we end up with that. So after we have moved forward, three of my infantry at the back here won't be able to fight because they won't be able to shoot past the other squad. The other ones will be able to shoot past to these couple of guys at the front here. Now we've got four of them which are in point blank and three of them aren't, but thanks to rapid fire, the four that are in point blank are going to get the three extra rapid fire shots as well. So these ones are going to be hitting on threes because it's going to be moved, but then I'm in point blank, so it just bounces out the three. Simon has elected to be brave. The spirit of the RDT, he's not going down because he wants to be able to do stuff in his next turn. So, well, in his in this turn. So, hitting on threes with these guys. We've dropped one. It's, he's looking a bit. He's, he's he's looking a bit spicy here, Simon. We've got three other attacks coming in here, hitting on fours. Okay, none of them hit. So that balance, that's a bit more balanced. A bit more balanced. Now we're wounding on fours here. Okay, so it's, that's probably about average so far. Not too bad. Now remember, guys, this is a, actually this is a bigger squad, so we can absorb a couple of casualties on it. Now, do I get to pick with these ones? I do. Now that's going to be really bad because Simon knows what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pick the sergeant so that it's going to be even though he's only got one pin, he will be taking his orders at minus two. So that is that activation there. Let's see what the next dice. The next dice is an Italian dice, and Simon is going to go for his counter-attack here, so he's got to get an order test off. Now, are you sure you want to do that, Simon? Not to tell you how to live your life, but you could possibly go with the officer first and then get yourself a plus one leadership for these mm, orders. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, because I'd be able to use... I can snap them both too, can't I? Uh, so you can't, so snap two happens straight away. So you'd have to yeah, of course, do yeah. one, yeah, 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 yeah. hope you get the next dice. And then, <laughs> and then do that there. Now bear in mind, this is only a smaller squad here, so even if I get the next dice, it wouldn't be as much coming into you. Right, I'm going to snap to my officer. And the shirkers? Yeah. Oh, brave. Well, not brave, sensible, but will the shirkers be brave is what I'm trying to say here. So, uh, I get plus. The officer's absolutely fine. The shirkers will be on minus two overall. Is he the second lieutenant? No, first lieutenant. Oh, plus two. So, you'll actually be on a minus one with the shirkers. So, let's do the shirkers. Leech of eight. Oh, one again. It's, ah, it just keeps happening. So, the shirkers are going to go down. Now, what is your officer going to do? Go for a run order? Yeah. Okay, now where are you going to put them? Just go right there. Awesome. Okay. These Italians cannot catch a break. Simon's having a really, really nasty game. 
Now it's funny because like we was we were talking about this before the game. It's like yeah, this is before we even knew what he was going to bring. He was like, I'm sick of losing on battle thoughts. And then he said, I'm bringing the Italians. I was like, Are you though? <laughs> All right, so we're getting a nice historical battle here. The Italians performing about as well as they did in the uh, in the real thing. So that is the uh, dice there. Now we're going to, we're going to do one big cut here. Can Simon get the next dice? Come on, feel the color. Ah, oh, he's got that one. Now I tell you what, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for my squad there. But I do have. Uh, we're just going to go straight for a fire order. But we do have a um, a pin on us. So can you pass me a couple of dice there, Simon? One long take. Do I get it off? I do, so I'm gonna lose my pin and I'm just gonna shoot into your guys there. So we'll get some dice together and we'll see what happens. So it's nine shots hitting on threes. Oh, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Look at all that. Almost what less than half, way less than half. Three hits, Jesus. All right, now killing on fours. All right, got a couple of kills there. That did balance out. Do I get to pick another one? I do. Is there anything else important in there? No. No LMG? No. Well, I'll kill the one with the fanciest hat then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is going to be oh, two yes. more dead. Um, so that is that squad. It's taken a bit of a beating now. Can Simon get that next dice? So the next dice is an Italian one. Now, Simon has decided not to go with these guys. He's going to ch mix things up a little bit. We're going to come over to the other side of the board to his unit of three fanatics. And they're going to go for a what? A shoot? Nope. A charge? A charge. I am veteran. I know, but you're just going to shoot them off the board otherwise. So you know, try and take a veteran squad out with me. That is true. It will. You will get to strike first. Okay, so do you pass your order test? You do. These guys, man, you need to mark out these guys. Give them a little, like, symbol on the shoulder pad or something. You've got to mark them out. So they've got their... They will be... In case anyone's wondering, I will not be able to overwatch because I am within point blank, which means I don't get to overwatch. Simon's going to strike first. He's got five attacks. Any SMGs in there? Nope. All right, so five attacks, killing on fives. Okay, he's got one. Now you get to roll that six again. And you might get to pick one. No, so I'm going to lose a rifleman. Now I'm going to fight back. I've got two guys with SMGs. One kill. Do I get another kill? No. And then I've got uh, two riflemen. So that's one each. So that means we fight again. Fight again anyway, I'm fanatics. Yeah, that's true. You do keep going. So <laughs> one each. So Simon, you get to... We're fighting at the same time now though. So four attacks. He's got another kill. Do you get to pick? Come on. Come on, Italians. You do. Sergeant uh, takes an SMG and the yeah. leadership down. Okay, so we've, I've lost two. Now, he will get to fight before he dies, though. So, two SMG blokes. One kill. Do I get a second kill? I do. So, I've killed two there. And then I've got my two riflemen. Double kill. That is going to finish them off. That is going to finish them off, unfortunately. It was a valiant effort. Valiant effort from, uh, from the Italians there. And I have lost my sergeant... And I've lost another one here. So that is the end of the combat there. Um, all right, I'll get a little marker so we make sure we know they've lost their sergeant. So now we've got the next dice and it is going to be a British one. I think what we're going to go for is a... Um, we're going to go for the tank and we're going to go into the shirkers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for a pivot... We're going to go nine inches, which is going to get me to about there. And then we're going to fire the main gun and the um, machine gun into there. Now, the main gun's going to hit on a six, uh, and the machine guns are going to hit on... Don't forget they're down. Oh, they're down. Oh, right. Okay, well, then I'm going to be hitting on six followed by sixes. So, six followed by sixes for the main gun. Nope. Sixes followed by sixes for the medium machine gun. Got a Maybe. No, didn't get it. So that's it. Sherman's not done a huge amount. The armor's not done a huge amount in general for both sides here. <laughs> tends to be the way with bot action. It tends to be better to take cheaper armor like Simon has done than to take expensive armor like I have done. Right, that is uh, that dice. So we'll do the next one on camera and then we'll summarize the rest of the turn. So the next dice is an Italian one. Do you know what you're doing? Uh, I am going to mortar. Going for a mortar. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's going to be out on a six because I have moved since then. Um, so do you get the six? Simple as that. Oh, it's another big miss. Double one on that thing. 
Uh, two ones in a row. Okay, so we'll do the rest of the turn off camera and we'll be back in just a moment. So I know I said I was going to do the rest of the turn off camera, but then Simon did something quintessentially Italian. He drove forward with his armoured car. It's clearly a Ferrari in here. And he then did a handbrake turn. He did have enough pivots to pull it off, which meant that he can fire his rear machine gun. That little thing sticking out there is a rear bloody machine gun. So he's going to fire 10 shots, and he's going to put it straight into the back of the 10-man squad. Now it's going to be just moved and light cover. There's nothing else. So it's going to be fives. Here we go. That looks all right. That looks about statistical. Four hits. Now you're going to kill on fours. Oh, it's not bad. Two kills and he gets to pick potentially. No, so he is going to trim that squad down. There's two kills from this squad. So we'll kill this chap and we'll kill the lying down chap as well. All right. We'll do the rest of the turn off camera, but I thought that was just too epic not to capture. So the rest of the turn, the British veterans got back in their brain carrier who then opened fire onto this new unit of Italians that had just come onto the field. And I didn't get any hits, but Simon rolled to see if they were shirkers, regulars or fanatics. And he rolled a two, which meant he's got two units of shirkers on the board. That's such a shame because in theory, you should get one of each, one normal, one shirkers and one veteran and he's ended up with two bloody shirkers <laughs> it is the end of the war you, you are literally just going into villages handing out kakano rifles to peasants and being like el duce demands you do your service for the empire <laughs> and these guys are like oh, if you say so boss i'm not so certain about this um moving over here the this uh, section moved up over here the 25 pounder attempted to get a drop shot onto the shirkers but wasn't able to uh, and the Vickers has done nothing all game. The anti-tank rifle team failed his order check. That was a shame because he would have been able to get a nice side shot on that fine riveted construction. And then there was just some general back and forth fighting over here, uh, just shooting. And the end result is that I've lost a, another man from that squad and they've got two pins on them. We also realized I probably should have done a, I think I had a pin for my order test when I was um, going over to shoot them, but it didn't go off. And f I, I got it. So that wasn't a problem. We saw we sort of rewound time there, but it wasn't a problem. And then we've also got a couple of pins on here. So after the dust has settled, you know, it's about equal in terms of sort of casualties, but the Brits are going to be outnumbered. The Italians are bringing in more reinforcements. So it's pretty close. It's pretty close. And Simon is dialing in on this squad with a mortar and a medium howitzer, and they've got two pins on them. So he could, this is currently, I'm putting a lot of pressure on Simon, but if he can just do what Italians do, hold the line, try and not lose too many more units, keep that leadership nice and strong, and he might be all right. But there's a lot of pins going on in this center of the board. All right, that is turn three. Let's go straight to turn four. So the first dice of turn four is going to be a British one. And I think... I'm going to have to get my officer over there to try and give my boys some extra leadership. So what I'm going to do is I'll measure it up in just a second. But what? Oh, my artillery bombardment, does it come in? So I'm going to run with him. And I'm going to see if my artillery bombardment comes in. It doesn't. It moves again. I think that's another one. So we'll check the book. But I think that means that, um, that it's not coming in. So we actually checked the book for the artillery barrage because we uh, we got it wrong last time. I thought it was on a one. Siren gets to move the pin marker, the, the marker, but it's not. That's more like the plain one. So what actually happens is it goes 3d6 in a random direction and it could not have gone in a better place for the Brits. The marker ended up here. So it's going to go d6 plus 6 inches. 6, that's probably going to, we'll say it catches this guy, this guy, and this guy. So on a 1 to 5, each unit's going to take d3 pin markers. Oh, and it does get them as well. So that's on a six. That's a direct hit. on oh, that's going to be on this squad here. So it's a four-inch template. Now, you can go down to halve this, which you probably want to do because it's going to get, like, five guys otherwise. Yeah. Sam's going to go down. And I get no kills. I get no kills. See, Simon? You can see? It's not always bad. Uh, it's going to be a uh, number of uh, pins is going to be six uh, d six or so they, they do take five pins but they take no kills could have been worse could have been worse and then we're going to go for the mortar that just gets d three pins and that's just one and we're going to go for the anti tank rifle team and that's just d three pins and it's going to take one and we're going to go for the shirkers and that's going to be d three pins and we're going to get two so it's two. One, and then like three, five, and then one. So not too bad. I mean, could have been a lot worse. 
it could have been a lot. I could have wiped out Simon's ace in the hole. So all you have to do is get a rally on them and then sprint them over to here and he should stop me from being able to win the game that way. So he's it's, it's just got to keep pushing. Got to keep the faith, Simon. El Duce won't let you down. That's why you guys are still fighting. Everyone else gave up. You guys are still believing. All right, we'll be back. That was the bombardment. My officer, Simon's been very kind, is running for me over here, so he's going to be over there. That is my first order dice and the bombardment done. Now let's see what the second order dice is going to be. All right, so the next dice is going to be, it is the Italians. All right, do you know what you're doing, Simon? Yes. Okay, do you want to do it straight up? Let's go straight into it. Yes. Okay, what is it? All right, I'm going to move these guys. There is method in my madness. Just go straight over. You're just going to shoot the shit out of me. Yes. You're going to shoot the bigger squad. That squad there. Okay, yeah. the one that you're dialing in on. Could see a big... T could We've done a big push. We've done a big push, but will the... Uh, will the Italian infantry start, you know, pinning me in place and the Italian artillery... Threes. Fours. Light cover. It's uh, moved light cover. That's uh, but point, point blank. blank. So Seven fours. Five. Okay, so we've got the pin. That's, that's the big one there. Now, can you get the kill? No, but the big one is the pin there. So give me another pin marker there, Simon. Because I'm going to be... Mine's only a second lieutenant. So there's a good chance that I won't pass my order. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what the next dice is going to be. Here comes the next dice. Is another Italian one. Come on, Simon. All right, he's going to go for it. He's done it. He's passed. All right. Here he goes. Oh, my... He, he, all right, he's really going for it now. Nine inches forward, don't forget you lose your pin. Excellent. Now, I get same again. Yeah. Same again, just spraying them up. Now, you um, you will be moved long range light cover. Short range, I'm within half range. Oh, it's, it's a machine gun, of course, of course. No. It's just fives. Five. How many million shots is that? 20. Ooh. I'm gonna have to wear because I really don't want to get hit by an artillery bombardment. If I go down, it's fours next turn. Fives. Fives. Oh my God, the pizza tank is on the roll. He let you down last time, but he knows what he's doing this time. Two more kills and a pin. Okay. I'm going to take that pin from your tank. I'm going to put it on my guys. That's only the first half. That's only the first half. Oh my God. All right, let me take my two casualties off. Here comes the second half. Oh, okay. This tank is absolutely cooking on gas. It's a wood-fired pizza. It's stone-baked. Oh, was it fives? Five. Ah, okay, nothing. Okay, fair enough. I, th I was like, suddenly I thought you were hitting on fours. Okay, no, fair enough. All right, so two casualties, four pins. It's not looking good. Let's see what the next dice. Okay, and the next dice is going to be a British one. Ooh, okay, I'm going to try and go for the... I'm going to try and go for my anti-tank rifle team into the side of that vehicle. Okay, so I've got an order dice and I've got a... I've got two leadership dice here fails again so that's really bad so just put that on a down for me mate okay so the anti-tank rifle team really letting me down and the next dice is going to be another british one all right pretty simple i'm going to go straight for the uh zoning in with the mortar into them so this is going to be on a four no misses so not yet Zoning in, zoning in. Where's the three? There it is. So zoning on three, that is the order dice for the mortar. So we'll just put that over there. Simon, you can pull the next dice. I trust you. It is I. It is the Italians. All right, do you know what you're doing? Yes. Okay, go for it. I'm going to try and fire my mortar. Your mortar? Okay, it needs a five to hit. I need to do an order test You need to do an order test first. He passes it. You saw that six. I could see the steam coming out of his ears, but he did pass it. <laughs> All right. So I need a five. Let's try and get a one this time. I need a five. It's better. It's an improvement. It is an improvement. At this rate, I will hit you on turn eight. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right, we'll call that there. I'll do the next dice. Okay, and the next dice is a British one. All righty, ho, ho. Uh, I think we're going to go for my artillery uh, that's going to try and land a shot here. So I need a five, so put that on my 25 pounder, please, good man. And I'm going to try and get a five to hit. I don't know, I'm on artillery, ineffective for both sides this game. So I need another um, I need a dice that says I'm getting on fours there. So no, That's the pin marker, just don't confuse that. Yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, so it was sixes then, it would have been fives this turn, so now it's fours. Yeah, there we go. 
We'll, we'll, we'll get the right marks out in a moment, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, next dice. Italians, you know what you're doing. We can go for a long edit here if we, uh, if we need to. Tank coming in here. Well, I say tank. It's the, uh, the fine spaghetti machine coming in. Double machine gun going for the same infantry squad. Yeah. I think I'm on a rally this five. turn. It's going to be, yeah, light cover. And a move. Three hits. Not bad, not bad. Italian armor doing work. Can I bring my Sherman over here? I'm going to be lying on the Yankees, though. Another pin, another kill. So my infantry here have been pretty thoroughly mullered, which is not ideal at all. So we've lost another guy there. Okay. Okay. Right, we'll cut that there and we'll see what the next... Okay, the next dice is going to be a British one. So let's take a little look. I think we're going to go for some tank on tank action. I'm going to go for... Ooh, my officer is in the way there. So I think it's going to have to be... I think it's going to have to be an advance move with my uh, with my Sherman. So I'm going to advance him across the river here. And then we're going to attempt to put a shot into this tank. Now, Simon will get light cover because of his own guides and probably because of this wall. So it will be a move and a light cover at least. Then we'll have to see if we're in long range. So the British Sherman has advanced onto the objective. We are holding it currently. Can uh, Simon push me off? At the very least, he just needs to contest it. So uh, we've moved on to that and now we're going to fire. So the main gun is going to fire a anti-tank shell. It's going to be hitting on a five because I've moved. I am within half range, but I am shooting through intervening models. Uh, and the medium machine gun in the hole is going to go into these guys who are actually out in the open. So the main gun first. Here we go. It is a hit. It is a hit. Now, it's a medium anti-tank gun over... Over, uh, but it's within half range, so it's pen plus five, so I need a three to glance. Okay. It is a glancing hit. It is a penetrating hit. Now, that's actually going to be a double penetrating hit. That sounds pretty rude, doesn't it? But it's um, <laughs> it, what that means is I get to roll two dice in the vehicle damage table and keep both. All right, so come on. Can we just can we just pop this riveted monstrosity? Can we just do it? Let's see what we get. It is. It's very, very, very very dead so we'll get a little bit of smoke and that thing is going to be dead so we've got our first tank kill first engine kill of the night let's see what the next dice is going to be after that good work sherman so by the end of the turn both sides had a bit of rallying i managed to get these two units both pin free but that does mean that the artillery will still be dialing in on them and then uh, simon got this unit pin free but then i was able to put a pin on it later with some other shooting and that is basically it over there. Oh, and these guys rallied and became pin free as well, I believe. Oh no, they went down. So they were so they they couldn't do that. Um the officer over here moved over here to make sure everyone was doing as they were told. In terms of the rest of the British turn, these guys moved forward, did some little bits of shooting. The Bren carrier and the Vickers continued to pepper that position. It was one of them that managed to get the pin, but no kills over there. The Vickers, I think, has not got a single hit all game. It's been a real shame because it's a fantastic unit. It just doesn't seem to be doing very much. All right. Anyway, so that is the end of turn four. Now, turn five is going to be make or break. Basically, the Italians need to go for an all-out push and just try and get as many units onto the objective and hold it. They need to try and thin out these British units there. And if they can do that, then for a real strong chance, we, I can't remember exactly what the win conditions are, but if if that's not, I know what, what I know for sure is if that is not clear, I don't get a win. That's as simple as it gets. So we'll have a little look. Uh, it might be that if we're both on it, it's a draw. And if uh, Simon controls it, it'll be, you know, whichever player controls it, it'll be a win. But the point is, like, all Simon needs to do to stop himself from losing is just go all out. It could be a lone officer. It could be an anti-tank rifle team. It could be anything. If that objective isn't completely clear, no one controls it. So we'll see what can happen. It's going to be a big turn five. Let's see what the first dice is. Okay, now it is, 11, it is a nine Italian dice, two 13 Brits. But Simon has just pulled the first dice. It is an Italian one. That is big. What are you going to go for, Sam? Go for bombardment. The mortar. Let's go for the mortar now. He needs a four to hit now. He's done it. He's done it now. I reckon you can get all four guys there, mate. I've bunched up a bit too much there. If you plonk it right on that middle guy's head. So it's going to be... I, I didn't say I was going to go down. So it is going to be... No, I, I want to go for the big push. So uh, it's going to be forced to kill. 
Okay, so he's he kills two, but he does D3 pins as well. Now, this is going to be big. Do the D3. Four to kill, isn't it? You said. Sorry, it's, um, it's twos to kill. Twos to kill, I misspoke. So it's one pin. Now, I've lost half of my squad there, so we'll lose these two. Now, now, whatever I do, I think I'm going to be outside of my officer's range now. So that means I've got to take a, a leadership eight test. I do pass it, so I don't run away, but I am on uh, a pin there. So if you could just get a pin marker for me, Simon. So good bombardment. And if I don't uh, do what I need to do this turn, he will be hitting me on a two with that with that piece. So not bad. The mortar's finally doing something good there. Got a nice hit. Let's see what the next dice is. Okay, the next dice is going to be a British one. So what am I going to do here? I think we're going to go for... Uh, we're going to have to move the officer first so that then for my next dice, I can try and pop a wheelie at this uh, armoured car. Can we go for two engine kills? We're going to try. We'll move the officer first, and he is just going to go pip-pip tally-ho, and he's just going to hop it, uh, onto the objective. All right, what is the next dice going to be, Simon? It is an Italian dice. Do you know what you're doing? I am going to try and shoot that squad into the uh so i need to rally them this uh, squad here uh, no the the squad here yeah. so you will be on big leadership because your officer's there so that's not a problem you will get it because of your officer being there your leadership well, nine leadership nine plus one pit oh it's true he doesn't quite get it so the shirkers are going to go down okay shirkers are going to go down I mean, it's not it's not ideal. It's not ideal to say the least. But he has got other units he can do it with as well. So that is going to be the down order. Okay, let's see what the next order is. We'll go straight into it. We'll keep going. Okay, you've got another top opportunity here, mate. Another opportunity. Right, I'm going to try and drop the uh, other thing in them. Okay, he needs a five to hit on this one. Oh, so close. It will be a four next turn, though. Okay, so... We then have the next dice. It's going several in a row. Okay, it's going to be me. We're going to go for the straight fire order on my tank. Now, it's going to definitely be... A, it's definitely going to be some light covered there, at least. Tell you what, Simon, get your eye down there. If more than 50% of your vehicle is obscured by that tree and that wall, I'll give you heavy for it. Oh, yeah. It's like, we said that was light to begin with. It depends with vehicles. It's all about how much is covered, though. It's light. That it's light. Like, okay, yeah. fair if enough. If it was a bloke, it'd be light. If it's a vehicle, okay. it's even less. Fair enough. So it's a four to hit then. I do get the hit. Now it's going to be rear riveted. Ah, it's not going to be good. <laughs> it's not going to be good. It's going to probably be more than likely a double penetration again. Again, a bit rude. Because your armour is seven, I imagine, seven, for being I'm an armoured sure. car. Not, it is seven. I'm not sure if it's... Uh... Seven plus... Um, Five for being a medium anti-tank gun. So uh, so five plus five is ten. And then hitting rear armor is going to be plus two. It's definitely going to be a big penetration. So do we get the kill? We oh, It's fucking gone, man. The Italian pizza brigade. The armor is gone. It's going to be down to the Italian infantry. Come on, Simon. You can do it. Let's see what happens. Well, let me just get some smoke for that vehicle. We'll draw the next dice. So the next dice is a British one. Simon has just informed me that he has now lost three dice, which means his army is now army-wide, minus two leadership. It's not good. He's, Simon thinks the Italians, the game is slipping away from them at this point. Um, we'll, we shall, we'll have to see. I'm going to go for... Uh, I'm, you, know what? you know what, mate? I'm going to go for a bloody, uh, a bloody assault. Fixed bayonets, knees out. Them. I just realised I'm probably in range for a good little assault. I've not done a proper British bayonet charge yet. <laughs> so we'll go for a run. Uh, you are down so you won't be able to overwatch but it will be us fighting at the same time so let's see if I'm in range and uh, move them in so we are in range we've made it in knees to the enemy bayonets fixed bayonets lads up and out well not actually up and out we don't have that rule but you know what I mean so we're going to be fighting at the same time this is a prepared defensive position uh, now Simon would you like the honour of going no, first let you go okay first. so let me go first they are very dead would you like to see if you take any out with you you get one you stick one. I think there is a severe lack of bayonets on these infantry models, which may explain why you uh, you only kill one of them. So uh, I do lose one guy. Simon, you are going to lose um, the other four. I will get to consolidate. Can I take the Italian position? I can. It's a big six. 
We're going to hop over that wall and take the Italian defensive position. We've actually cleared out two of these bunkers now. The British are very much on the offensive. Let's see if, uh, if the Italians can claw something back. Maybe a counter charge. Maybe. Maybe. So we've pulled the next dice. It is an Italian one. Me and Simon are having a quick chinwag off camera. And what we're going to do, the Italians are really... They're behind now. I think they've lost four or five units. Yeah, we've it's, all down. It's so. pretty grim. So I'm not going to force uh, the Italians. I'm not going to force <laughs> Simon to you know, play something he doesn't want to. So what we're going to do, we're going to do turn five. We're going to see if we can make something happen. And if it doesn't look like the Italians get back into it, then these black shirts are going to concede the field to the 8th Army. Okay, but it is Simon's next dice. So let's see what he gets. Do you have an idea of what you want to do? I'm just going to shoot that squad or two. You go, what, with this? No, with these guys. With these. Oh, oh. see, now I'm going to, that's it. Now I'm at snap two range here, aren't no, I? No, no, definitely a snap two range, 100%. You could, you could do all three. Go for a big Billy Bollocks Bonanza manoeuvre if you wanted to. <laughs> and you're taking my full assault the position. You technically get to oh, fight no. first. Right, they're going to assault them. They're going to assault them. Oh, I like it. And you get another one because you're a first lieutenant. Do you want to do a rally or, yeah, or a shot? Rally on the other squad. Okay, okay. So what are you going to do first? Let's do the rally. Okay, do the rally first. Oh. Okay, Wait. you've got it. How many do you rally off? All of them. All of them. There we go. Come on, come on, second Shirker squad. I believe in you. You can get that objective. Okay. Let's put a rally on those. Got a rally over there. Good sir, kind okay. sir. Right, he's going for it. He's going for the two. Now, it's equals peakwalls here, but you have an SMG and I don't. Yeah. Now, once again, would you like to go first? Or... I'll go first as I attack. Now, roll your SMG separately. Exactly. We te you know what? You can have two in there if you because it's free upgrades. It's an officer. Well, it's as modelled. So. Okay, fair enough. The, the, the gentleman's game. Yeah. So one SMG, do you want SMG first or second? Uh, what are you feeling? SMG first. SMG first. Okay, looking for a four. One dice. He's not done it. Rifleman. He's not done it. It's not looking good here. He's unfortunately, he is with El Duce now. <laughs> he will dine at El Duce's table tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, these guys are going to go next. Okay. Five. Yep, so you oh, do your order test. All right, yeah. Technically, it snaps you, so you do it, you know, it all happens at the same time. You get it off because you're going to combat, you lose all your pins. Uh, now, you're just going to go straight for the charge there. We will be fighting at the same time because you technically have to go straight forward. Yeah. So uh, you can go first. Uh, five guys killing on. Oh, that is strong. Very strong. Now, I will get to fight at the same time here. Nope, just the one. So you take one casualties and you clear out the bayonet, boys. All right. I tell you what, I do love that all the 8th Army models do come with bayonets. All right. So that is the... They're not the RDT. I keep calling them the RDT. They just invoke the spirit of the RDT. They are the professional black shirts. They're not the bunch of peasants that they've wandered in and given a bunch of rifles to. These guys marched on Rome. So those guys have... Uh, to be fair, like I've actually been really impressed with how that unit's performed. If you could get more than one of those, Simon, I definitely... You can't. You're limited to one. Ah, well, of course. You are limited to one. Warlord Games does not give the Italians nice things. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the Italian book, they got... Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's awful, man. Uh, where are we? Right. Run. There we go. So I have got one dice left. Okay, one dice. Okay, well... I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a big long a big long shot there. So what we'll do is we'll cut that there and we'll do the rest off camera and we'll see if, we're, we'll see if we have a turn six off yeah. camera. So after the dust had settled... The Italians had managed to take the central objective. I did also manage to get a pin on them, but that was basically it. And the rest of the British essentially focused on moving in and securing that objective beyond doubt. So we've got a tank on it, a couple of Bren carriers, a couple of shattered squads as well. And the Italians, unfortunately, are kind of their main strength is left here. We've done some like measuring up and realistically, the only unit that could get onto the objective would be this anti-tank rifle team. And uh, essentially, that is just going to get everything shooting at it. So <laughs> we've had a little chat off camera and Simon and I have said, all right, all right, we'll call it there. So it is going to be a British victory. It's a real shame. I really wanted the Italians to win. And, uh, you know, it's just such a shame. Simon still hasn't got that win under his belt on the on the channel yet. But maybe next time, maybe next time we'll uh, the Italians will pull it off. Or we'll use the British powers. Maybe. Maybe the British powers. But yeah, so this is sort of the end sort of, seen on the battlefield the british armored force has come round the flank 
taken the objective. We've got the bridge crossing. You can imagine there's going to be a lot more British and American armor going to be pushing across this bridge now. And the Italian forces, unfortunately, in this theater have been pushed back. It was absolutely fantastic game, really thematic. I mean, you've got all the explosions. I think the Sherman actually getting to show off its power and take out a couple of enemy vehicles is quite nice. Normally, they don't do very much Shermans. Um, and I think it was, it was there was quite a few sort of bayonet charge and stuff near the end of the game. It got fast and furious on both sides. Like, okay, we've just got to try and make something happen. So it was a really good game. Thank you for coming down for the channel again, Simon. My pleasure. Always a, always a joy. <laughs> is it though? <laughs> oh, you're bullshit. That's no, no. <laughs> no, so I really appreciate you coming down, mate. It's really, um, we've, we've been talking about this bot action battle put for a while, haven't we? And it's yeah. great to finally get the table together and finally get the models on it. So we're just going to end with the final shot of these Italians, these black shirts. Maybe next time they won't all be shirkers. <laughs> Thank you for watching. What were you going to say, Simon? I was going to say it wasn't the shirkers, it was that tank. Oh yeah, we were just talking. Last sort of tactical commentary for those that like the old tactics. We both think that this tank failing that order and retreating, yeah. that was the turning point. Because if he'd got that off, he could have come round here and he could have unleashed... Uh, the, this, uh, the angle he would have got would have meant that one of the squads wouldn't have been in cover. 20 shots would have just picked them all up. There's yeah. nothing I could have done about it. If I'd gone down, it would have started suppressing them. It would have just been horrible. Even on down, I think I would have been, you would have been hit on five. Sixes it would have been. But still, you're taking the squad out of action then. But this definitely retreating was a big deal. And that was a single pin that did that. So yeah. some people say, oh, you know, pins, you know, one pin isn't a big deal. One pin orders have decided more games than I can count. Like, they're really big deals, like just getting a single pin on a unit. Especially with the Italians, if they start losing more dice and you're on minus three, it just starts getting insane. <laughs> so thank you for coming down, Simon. Appreciate it as pleasure. always. And hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, all that kind of good stuff. And if you want to see more bot action content, then please consider becoming a channel member or Patreon supporter. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And as always, we'll see you guys next time.